our world, all the other worlds, all the planets, all the universes, parallel universes, whatever there may be, every blade of grass, every um, animal is interconnected in some way, shape or form. Some say the end of mankind is near. Some say that economic and financial turmoil is part of the process, along with global warming, warfare, and the spread of mass psychosis. When there's no place you feel at home And you think you'll be better off alone Children are prescribed drugs to keep them calm. The climate is changing all around us, while celebrities become our gods and materialism, the new mantra. We live in an era where we're obsessed by celebrity. We live in an era where everyone wants a route out of their ordinary lives, and people want a quick fix these days. I mean, the idea, the idea of, of learning a trade from your father or doing a five-year apprenticeship has gone out of the window. People now want to go on Big Brother and become a celebrity overnight. People want to be a wag. Is there a reason behind this modern-day madness? Are our material lives making us truly content? If I want to know what the truth is, I have to live truthfully. Mm. And as long as I live as truthful to myself and to others, then I'm like in the vibration of truth. Therefore, it will resonate with me or not. But there is a ratio to it all. A rhyme and reason behind everything that we do and everything that affects us. Did this really happen by accident? This whole universe and us living on this planet in this fragile atmosphere in this one place in, in the universe. It is beyond thought, it is beyond words, but there is a purpose to it. Once people start connecting with what they think and what they believe, once they start taking the more innocent point of view that their ancestors took, I think there's still hope for the survival of the human race. Because if they don't, we will poison ourselves off this planet eventually, I think. Like mad magicians seeking to rule the world, men of renown have fleetingly seen the epic nature of the ancient code in its alluring essence. But all too often, they fall into an abyss of their own making, choosing the wrong side of the code. But today we too have missed the point in our everyday complacency. We choose to exist in a waking sleep. We spend time naming things and separating them, classifying endless parts and pieces without remembering the whole, the one from which all things come. It needs no hatred nor warfare. It needs no drugs. It simply is. For you are the key to the code. Once you've found that point of connection in yourself where you are part of nature, part of the world around you and it is part of you, then no secret, no quantum physics, quantum spirituality can get anywhere near that point of unique connection because you've found yourself and you've found your own God within yourself.